Welcome back to H3 Weapon Deep Dive. Today we're taking a look at the C96 Mauser, the first firearm to be created from a broom handle. Right? No? Well, okay. Uh, the Mauser spawns in the home pistol automatic category right there. It spawns with a C96 Mauser clip and it has its own zest. <laughs> It has its own dedicated stock. Uh, it is chambered in 763 by 25 Mauser. So how do you load this sucker? Well, the uh, bolt slide, whatever you want to call this, is here. You can see the little hammer there, this little guy. Pull it back. It locks open. You grab a clip. You do the clippy thing. And you can either pull this out or you can pull that and eject it. The, uh, the bolt... Is this a slide or a bolt? <laughs> the bolt will hold open when it is empty on the last round. Uh, there does not, it does not feature a uh, bolt release. So if you press to the right and down, it does nothing. Um, it also, same thing with for the bolt hold open. You cannot manually hold it open. Uh, you can, of course, uh, pull on it and let it go if there is a round in there. So now I can do it. It also features a hammer uh, decocker. If you press to the right and up and gently press the trigger, it will just fire. There it goes. <laughs> All right, it also features a hammer cocker if you press to the right and down. So right and up. Nope, come on. There you go. Right and down, right and up. Gently press the trigger. Oh my god, this thing is not safe at all. It also has a safety press up on the uh, trackpad, of course. All pistols spawn with the safety off. You can also witness the uh, chamber a little bit if you pull back on the slide. Just a smidgen. Now that is a... Uh, that's an uh, imperial smidgen, not a metric smidgen. It will accept stocks. In fact, it comes with its own fancy Mauser stock. Look at that, how lovely. Unfortunately, it will not accept barrel attachments, so compensators will not work, and suppressors will not work. And naturally, as a 100-year-old firearm, it will not support uh, any rail attachments, so no red dots, no lasers. Let's take a look at the Mauser's sights. It's got a typical iron front post and rear notch. Uh, the front post is a little house-looking thing. It's a large triangle, and you got a rather a fairly chunky rear notch, so it's not that bad. They're not the greatest iron sights, but it's not too bad. All right, let's do a 10 round recoil test with the Mauser, pulling as fast as I can. Not trying to compensate for hmm. recoil. And, not bad, got one uh, outlier there, but what do we get? 6.5, that's pretty common, pretty comparable to a uh, 9x19. I'd say it's a little better than most of the 9x19s I've tested so far. Let's do another recoil test, this time with a stock attached. 10 rounds, fast as I can. Mm, 7.1, so a little better, but not a lot better, to be honest. Um, not as much as I was hoping for, and you can't put uh, compressor or compressors. You can't put suppressors or compensators on there. So this is as good as it's going to get as far as recoil goes. So with that in mind, let's do one more test and see how I can do if I actually concentrate and try to get a bunch of bullseyes. Here we go. Ten rounds. Oh, it's totally, it's totally fine. Yeah, this, oh yeah, look at that. Look at that, once you slow it down just a tiny bit. I mean, this is a big heavy pistol with a fairly small round. So yeah, you can you can rack up the good score with the stock on here. Let's see how it does with no stock. I'm gonna take my time here. Oh yeah. Yeah, even with no stock, it is Totally controllable with just a slight delay in your shots. There you have it. 
the C96 Mauser in 7.63 by 25 millimeter Mauser. Until next time, I will see ya. Mokey.